I'm Anil Kumar and in this particular video I'll take up two examples and uh, we'll discuss how to find limits using series for the expressions. So one of the examples is written here. It's a multiple choice question. You need to find limit as x approaches 0 for cos x minus 1 times cos x minus e to the power of x over x to the power of n equals to L. Find n for the above limit to exist. These are your choices. Now you can actually apply many different methods. One could be L'Hopital's rule. The other could be simplifying these expressions. The best method of course is to write cos x in form of its series, e to the power of x in form of its series and then do it. Uh, we'll take this up. Before that we'll take another much simpler question which is right here. We need to evaluate a to the power of sine x minus 1 divided by sine x limit x approaches 0. So a to the power of x can be written in terms of 1 plus x ln let me write I should have written ln or log to the base e let me write now a plus x square over 2 factorial log to the base e of a plus so on right so that is how you can actually write a to the power of x so we use this expression for a to the power of x to find the limit so the question here is limit x approaches 0 for a to the power of sine x minus 1 over sine x. So we could write this as a to the power of sine x. So we'll replace a the exponent x with sine x in this particular expansion. So what we get here is 1 plus instead of sine x I'll write sine x right. So we have sine x ln x. So anything log to the base of e is ln. So it's better to write that. So ln a plus x square means sine square x. Sine square x over 2 factorial ln a plus so on. Correct? So that is how you could write a to the power of sine x and at the end we have minus 1. So this is that minus 1 divided by sine x limit x approaches 0 perfect now 1 and minus 1 cancel out so we have limit x approaching 0 sine x ln a plus sine square x over 2 factorial ln a plus so on divided by sine x. You can take sine x common, so we get limit x approaches 0. So if I take sine x common, I get ln a plus sine x over 2 factorial ln a plus, other terms will have sine x, right? Okay, divided by sine x. So sine x and sine x cancel out you are left with limit x approaches 0 and the expression here is ln a plus sine x over 2 factorial ln a plus so on. If I substitute 0, I get 0 for all of the terms. They will all have sine x over 3 factorial and so on. So we are left with ln a as our solution. So the limit of the function is ln a, right? So that is how you could do it using series. This is probably the simplest way to find limit of such functions. So now we'll take up another example to show you how to write cosine x and e to the power of x and find limit for those functions. I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from previous IIT JE test paper. The question here is a multiple choice question. You are given four choices. 
and we are also given limit of a function which exists. Limit x approaches 0 for cos x minus 1 times cos x minus e to the power of x divided by x to the power of n exists and it is equals to L. Find n for the above limit to exist. So we have to find in the denominator you find x to the power of n. We have to find the value of n. Four choices are given uh, for n. So you can do the needful to get to the answer. Now the method which I am going to adopt here oh, will use a lot of strategies. Uh, so we, we can actually, I uh, will discuss the strategies first and then put everything on this sheet to get you to the solution. Uh, how to write cos x minus 1, let us look into this part first. So we know what is uh, cos 2x in terms of sine, right? So let me do it like this. Uh, we know cos 2x could be written as 1 minus 2 sine square x. Now, <clears throat> if I rearrange and I want cos x minus 1, so I could write this as cos 2x minus 1 equals to minus 2 sine square x. And uh, if I convert to half angle, I could write this as cos theta minus 1 is minus 2 sine square theta. So I could always write cos x minus 1 as minus 2 sine square theta. Correct? That's one part. Now second thing which I want to share with you is how to expand cos x and e to the power of x uh, in terms of x, right? So uh, the expansion formula for cos x is 1 minus x square over 2 factorial plus x to the power of 4 over 4 factorial minus x to the power of 6 over 6 factorial plus so on, right? That is for cosine x. You have to remember some of these series to answer questions like that. And e to the power of x, as most of you know, can be written as 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial, right? So these are the expressions which can replace cos x and e to the power of x. As you can see, when we take away one from the other, one and one will cancel. We get all the terms in terms of x and we can always factor this out, cancel one of the x and uh, sine square theta by theta is 1 theta square, right? So we'll use those strategies to find the possible value of n. So I hope with this you get all the concepts, right? Now you can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then uh, look into my suggestions. So, okay, so we'll begin by writing what we just explained. Uh, we have limit x approaching 0. So the first step is we will write cos x minus 1 in half angle formula in sine. So it is minus 2 sine square x pi 2, correct? So that is the first term. The second term here is cos x, which could be written as 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x to the power of 4, all even terms here, 4 factorial and so on, right? So, so minus so on. And then for e to the power of x, we can say 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial plus so on, correct? So, so let's close this bracket. So we could always write them as these infinite series divided by so let me divide everything by x. So, okay, let me write this as times 1 over x to the power of n. Okay, so divide by x to the power of n. I'm trying to save some space here. Since I want to do it in this half page. Okay. So most of the strategies are known to you. Uh, this portion, we want to write this as... Uh, 
sin x by 2 over x by 2, correct? Uh, so that's the whole idea. So we could write this as, uh, let me keep 2 as such, and then we have sin square x by 2. So if I want, uh, I have to get x square by 4, correct? I have to get x square by 4. So let me write down uh, x square by 4. To get this 4, I can actually multiply by 4 here. So I'm multiplying and dividing by 4 to get this 4. And the, the x square part, so the, we had n, x to the power of n, so I'm writing this as x to the power of n minus 2. Does it make sense to you? So I'm writing this as x to the power of n minus 2. So I've taken two powers here as x square. Okay, now let's see the numerator part. 1 minus 1 is 0, and then we have a minus x. Let me write down minus x here. We have x square, both will be negative, so we get minus 2. 2x square by 2 factorial. Okay, then we have this term with cube, which is minus x cube over 3 factorial. And let's say so on, right? So, so we have all these terms, and let's say something, something, okay, and so on. I'm leaving this part since x approaches 0, they will become 0. So concentrate here. So we will now... Uh, write this as limit x approaches 0. So we have negative 2 over 4, which could be written as, as half, right? Negative half. So it is negative half times. Uh, now we could write this as sine x by 2 over x by 2 whole square. So we're taking care of all this. Now in this series, we could take negative x common, right? So let me take negative x common. So what do you get? You get 1 here, right? So 1 plus uh, 2 times x over 2 factorial. I'm not cancelling it. It's okay. Then plus x squared by 3 factorial plus so on. So it could become minus, but let's keep it. Okay. More terms. Anyway. <coughs> divided by x to the power of n minus 2. So, okay, let me write down here now. Divided by x to the power of n minus 2. Now, since we have this negative, it makes that as positive. So, we have limit x approaches 0. So, this becomes positive. So, we have half here. Okay. Limit of this is 1. So, now we can forget about this. And what we get here is... 1 plus 2x over 2 factorial plus x square over 3 factorial plus so on by divided by and divided by now one of these x's cancel since because of this x correct because of this one of them cancels so i could write this as x to the power of n minus 3 does make sense to you correct now we are saying that this limit exists this limit exists. Now, how can the limit exist? The only condition, you know, is that if n equals to 3, then we have x to the power of 0. So we say if n equals to 3, then x to the power of n minus 3 will be x to the power of 3 minus 3, which is, which is 1, correct? Then, we could substitute these at 0 and the limit will exist. Perfect. And the limit will be half in this particular case. Is that okay? The answer from the multiple choices, therefore, is n equals to 3. So I hope uh, it's slightly complicated, but with these steps, you do get the answer. And the answer will be C, which is n equals to 3. So I'd like you to go through this video once again and understand how we have broken down each and every part and uh, simplified the expression to get the answer, right? So the questions could be very tricky at times. So take your time to digest all this uh, and we'll take quite a few questions from previous test papers of IIT uh, to expose you to what is expected there. 
I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate and like what we have done here. Feel free to share your comments and views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be very good for me. Thank you and all the best.